2024 Did I just do the same intro as my previous video? Yes But uh, as you know, it's a new year So this is gonna be the first video of the year So I thought why not I do a new setup tour Okay, it's not really a new setup But more of an updated setup video y You know what I mean The last one I did was a while ago And since then, quite a lot has changed with my setup I took most of December and this month to kind of like revamp my setup to make it look better. So I think let's start off from here. Uh, this is where I put my tripods and this microphone holder. I forgot what it's called but yeah I use that if I want to do like the standing type videos. Here we got a light box which you may have seen in the background of my videos before. Speaking of which, remember to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. I genuinely will appreciate it very much because it really will help me out a lot. And then yeah, this is just where I put my wallet and stuff. Now onto the more interesting bit, the actual setup itself. I guess we can start from here. Now you may or may not have noticed that these two panels were not here before. But basically when I bought these, they came in a package of 12. So I had two extra ones. Then I don't know if you can see in the last setup video, but there's like a small hole on the wall, which I find it quite ugly. Which is why I thought I might as well put the panels to cover it. So the reason why I didn't put them on initially was because I have LED strips at the back of the table and if I were to put the panels, it will be covering the light from the LED strip But a few weeks ago, I tried to turn on the LED strip to see if it still works and no, it's just not lighting up anymore I barely used it as well, but uh, it is what it is I guess This is just a drink coaster I put my drinks far away from my keyboard and mouse so that if I were to spill a drink, uh, it won't get to them Right next to it, ah, you might be thinking, what the heck is this? It's actually a phone stand, so I can see any notifications on my phone when I'm sitting here. It's actually meant to be like this, but if I were to put my phone, it, yeah, that happens. <laughs> Basically, my phone is too heavy, so I just use it like this. Behind is a pack of tissues, and then my monitors, which I have yet to change them. I probably should get new ones sometime soon because this one has some dead pixels and the stand on that one broke but we'll get to that later <laughs> I've actually had this monitor for like 6 to 7 years already uh, Here is a picture of my very first setup when I was still in school So yeah, I probably need to get a new one soon but uh, I mean for now it still works As for this monitor, like I said, the stand broke which is why I have to put these plastic things at the bottom I have no idea what it's called but Pretty much, if I don't put it underneath, the monitor will be like slanting down, if you know what I mean. This one is probably 4 to 5 years old. I got them both from Carousel at around 40 each, if I'm not wrong. If you don't know what Carousel is, it's basically an app where you can buy secondhand items from other people for a much cheaper price. And actually, quite a few of my stuffs from my setup is actually from Carousel. The reason is because, like, if the item still works, then why not just save some money, right? I say some, but I literally bought this keyboard for $35 when the retail price is like $200. It still looks very new and works perfectly fine, so I really don't see why not. While we're at it, this is the Razer Huntsman Tournament Edition. I needed a quieter keyboard because the last one I had was way too loud that I had to set up the microphone further, otherwise you wouldn't be able to hear me clearly. And the keys are so fucking satisfying. Oh. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> Next is my mouse, which is a Razer Basilisk version 3. The last one I had was a Death Adder Elite. Uh, this mouse I actually bought from a shop because it was cheaper than what people were selling on Carousel. I bought it for $55 with 50% discount, while people on Carousel were selling for like $60 to $70 for second hand. So I might as well, right? Uh, I'll be honest, I bought it just because it looked nicer. <laughs> The RGB just looks so good and overall it's a better mouse as well. Okay, if you know me, you know I love RGB. So this mouse is like top tier status for me. But don't worry, I didn't throw away the old mouse or keyboard. I just put them somewhere as like a spare I guess. This is like a wrist rest if that's what it's called. Why do I have this, you may ask? So sometimes when I'm editing a video or playing games for long hours, my wrist can get quite painful after some time. So with this, uh, it still can get painful, don't get me wrong, but it's much less painful, so yeah. My speakers and mousepad are still the same. My headphones have changed, which you might have seen from a few videos ago. This is the Razer Black Shark version 2, so yes, I'm a big Razer fan, I know. <laughs> uh, I believe I got it for $40 on Carousel. 
I'm not sure if you've seen the state of my old headphones, but there was a lot of peeling on the leather and it was actually quite a heavy headset, whereas this is way lighter. So yeah, definitely a needed upgrade. Then next is the microphone, which is the Mauno PM461TR. I used to be using the cheaper version, which is the PM360TR. You probably didn't notice that I changed the mic because they look very similar. So sometimes when I do like gaming videos where the mic is quite far from me, the game audio itself can get louder than my voice, which makes it very hard to edit the video. Which is why I bought this, because you can adjust the audio gain through the knob itself. So when the mic is far from me next time, I can increase the gain so you can better hear my voice. Got it from Lazada for $18 during a sale. I'm not sponsored by them, but it's actually a pretty good budget microphone if you're looking for one. This is a ring light, which my friend got for me for my birthday. Fun fact, the cable is actually from here all the way across my table to here. And the reason is, it needs to be plugged to a power socket instead of directly into the PC. Otherwise, it will not have enough power to light up. So when I want to use it, I just take the USB and plug it to here. On the switch. And control it from here. This used to be where I put my camera tripod at. But I've decided to switch it up and instead, next video onwards, my tripod is going to be here. I'll figure out what to do with the background, so uh, stay tuned for that. And lastly, the most important thing of the whole setup, the PC itself. Yes, it's a completely different PC from my previous one. I'll put the PC specs in the description below if you're interested to know. So the reason why I changed PC was because the old one would often crash for no reason. Like sometimes when I'm recording, it will suddenly just stop working halfway. And then the audio and sometimes the file get corrupted, which caused the audio on some of my old videos to mess up. The specs of the PC is not too crazy, but definitely better than my old one. I got it from Carousel for $500 exactly, and personally, I think it's very worth. Like just look at the RGB on the case. Oh my god. Uh, this used to be on my table, around here. This is where I would put in the SD card from my camera to transfer the footages to my PC. So last time when I want to insert the SD card, I would have to reach all the way here just to insert it. Now that it's here, it's much easier I guess. But ah, it wasn't a big issue anyways. Oh yes, I don't know if you remember, but the cable management on my last setup was a mess. Cause I didn't bother to manage it at all. But since now, most of the time, I'm sat here recording and editing videos. I thought why not make my work environment neater so that, you know, I can be a little bit more productive, I guess. So as you can see, now there are no cables to be seen at all. Apart from these two, cause I can't really change the power socket location, right? So all the cables from my PC will go through the back of my table towards here. Yes, it's messy, but more importantly, it's hidden, so I don't really care. <laughs> then here is just a floor rug, a bin, and my chair. Yeah, I'm still using the same chair. I bought this years ago from Carousel for like, I think $40. The armrest is worn out already, which is why I have this cover sort of thing. Yes, there's a bit of squeaky noise to it, but I mean it still does the job at least. But yeah, I probably need to change it soon as well. And yeah, behind is my bed, which you've probably seen it before already. So pretty much this is my POV when I'm recording or editing videos. Uh, if you're curious to know what's in my drawer, here it is. My letters, cable ties, wireless mics. Uh, I don't even know why I have a PS4 controller. Bunch of random stuffs, cables, my old mic, and a paintbrush. I literally only use this to clean my keyboard and trust me, it cleans so well. So pretty much, you just need to sweep like this and all the dust will come out. You should try it yourself, it's actually very efficient when cleaning your keyboard. Thank me later. Then this side is just my cleaning kit, uh, the microphone for my headphones if I want a voice chat or something, another tripod, camera batteries, battery charger, and here is where I would put my camera. Got some SD cards here, and the rest is just a bunch of stationaries which I probably won't use at all. And yeah, that is pretty much my entire setup. If you're wondering how much it is in total, uh, I think it's under $1,000. Uh, let me know what you think about my setup in the comments below. And also, let me know what video ideas you guys want to see from me this year as well, you know. As always, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.